Hey, <clears throat> good morning, y'all. Okay, so if you've seen the video of um, the Kiehl's Hide All review, you know it didn't hide nothing. So if you're really looking for something that will hide stains, um, and so you can get back to painting, here's the deal. Okay, you see these stains here. This is like three coats of hide all. I even skim coated this with um, a, a lightweight drywall compound. These stains are still bleeding through. Same thing here. See these stains still bleeding through. They're saying like, screw you. We, we don't care what you put on this. We're gonna come through. Same thing there. Stains there. Uh, these all have two to three coats of that. Uh, uh, kills hide all. You can barely see the water stains. This is two coats. Barely see the water stains coming through there. It really didn't hide nothing. So, um, it's kind of, but so these here, if you remember, had the worst stains and now they're gone. And I'm going to show you what I used to get rid of those stains. And I should have used from the get go but I was lured by that hide all can um, I should have known it was only like 10 or 12 dollars so that's the cheapest but I have a can of this in my pickup probably been there a year and a half two years I seen it the other day when I was looking for something I thought hey I'm gonna try this good old Zenser bullseye one two three primer like I said I don't know how old this can is it's only about a quarter can in there when I, <laughs> I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try that. And if that doesn't work, I'll try white spray paint. But I come in here, shook the can up really good. And just like a magic eraser, boom. And it doesn't surprise me because I've always had the, Good luck with Zenser products, better than Kiehl's for hiding stains and stuff. Uh, Kiehl's is always, even the original Kiehl's on some things have always left me, um, you know, lacking. They've left lack, my lacking. So um, I got to sand this. I hadn't sanded that yet, so I already covered it. But you've seen how easy it just took care of that, just like that. So, I cannot remember if uh, the Bullseye 123s oil based or water based. Um, like I said, this is an old can, bright white, interior exterior, blocks tough stains. It really does, actually, this does what it says it, it's supposed to do. Uh, smooth finish, seals, odors, sticks to all surfaces. Well, I don't know about that, but it certainly does what I need to do. So, you know, it might be worth it to keep a can of this around for when you do have those tough stains that uh, other products says that they hide all, but it really doesn't hide all. You know what I'm talking about? So, um, uh, I've, and I can't even remember what project I used this on last, but it is a, um, it, it's always been a good product for me, whether it's a spray can or by, by the gallon. And that's really what I should have brought. Because anytime I've had tough stains like this in the past, it's always been a Zenser product that has covered it for me. Um, so they're my go-to products. So there you have, you got tough stain that needs to be uh, covered up uh, on a wall or ceiling or something, go ahead and clean it up, sand it up, down, you know, get it ready, prime it with something like a Zincha product like Bullseye 123 Primer and be done with it. Um, man, I've spent a lot of time, and, and we, we were, I mean, me and the owner were just talking about maybe we just have to cut this crap out uh, because if you put paint over it, it's gonna bleed through the paint. Well, thank you Zincha Bullseye 123 Primer, ever how old you are, because as you can see, it's taking care of that. Now I still gotta sand this here and I'm gonna go back and I'll hit these spots here where I showed you with this after I sand this down. But I am, I am so elated this morning that this Bullseye 123 did what it said it was going to do and it covered the tough stains. Um, if I'd used this from the get-go, it would have saved me a lot of work. 
and it's saving me work now because like I said, we weren't gonna paint this ceiling with those stains because we knew it would bleed through the paint. So, wow, thank you. Anyway, hey y'all, blue collar DIY. Uh, like I said, if you got a tough stain, you got to cover. Don't mess around with, with the cheaper stuff. And uh, go for the Zenser products. Uh, one, two, three, I can't think, uh, Benz. Uh, I think is their other uh, primer, and I think it's even better than one, two, three. And I'm still trying to think of what I used this on in the past, and I don't know. So anyway, Donald, Blue Collar DIY, check us out on the blog, bluecollardiy.com. Thank y'all, like and subscribe, you know, click the little bell so you get notifications. So I appreciate y'all. Catch you down the road.